very good morning to one and all. To all my lovely friends, my colleagues, to the freshers and to the veterans. Myself, Ekta Batra and Irfan sir are here to give a presentation on professional development. Professional development, well, let me not take you right away. What does this picture trigger in your mind? Anyone? Teacher is explaining something to the students and they are very excited and curious to know more about that. Okay. Very good. What about the quotation? I believe it talks about international mindedness. Quite okay. Yes. Hello. Let's learn together. Let's learn together. Well, all of the answers are pretty good, but I would say that a teacher is an evolver. He or she is a scientist, is an artist, is a creator. If we say that we are the ones who create engineers, doctors, so aren't we having that element within us? Yes or no? Yes? So it's all knowledge that makes us where we are today. If I speak about self-actualization, how many of us know self-actualization? Apart from the Cambridge teachers, yes. Uh, I think it is about realizing yourself, uh, getting connected to yourself and uh, knowing what are your own, uh, you know, own goals and striving always to achieve them. Okay, self-actualization is knowing what you are, towards what you want to realize, actualize, in pursuit of perfection and excellence, to what limit you can push yourself and to what extent you can go ahead. So this is one of the theories. When we have our physiological needs done, our self-esteem needs done, then at the top of the pyramid, we have the self-actualization. I'm sure the Cambridge teachers are well connecting with this. So can someone tell me which theory is it? Maslow's theory, yes. So now, taking you further, we have this professional development program called the Cambridge International Diploma in Teaching and Learning. And diploma comes by certification. May I request a sponsor to take you further on this? Good morning, teachers. Uh, as uh, you all are aware that we are running a Cambridge International uh, Training Centre over here. We are the authorized Cambridge Professional Development Centre uh, for Cambridge International teaching, uh, teaching and Learning courses. Apart from that, we run also pro uh, personality development courses. So we'll, we are here to give you information about what all we do. So uh, we are a Cambridge uh, Professional Development Centre. Okay. Uh, recent, uh, yesterday only I had gone to Bombay, we had a meet uh, where uh, all the professional level uh, program leaders of the professional development centers met and uh, they were all surprised that we are not doing the Cambridge program but we are having a professional development center of the Cambridge because uh, otherwise uh, most of the uh, uh, centers have Cambridge program running in their school, that's why they do. So they were asking me why do you run this program in your school? So you don't have a Cambridge, you have an IB. So I said one thing about this is, this is very flexible. It can be molded as per the requirement of the school. Second thing is it's a, uh, uh, IB as such do have professional development workshop, but those are short term workshops. There's no long term uh, solution to getting trained in an IB school. So uh, we found that this program is very good, that's why we have taken up and our management is very enthusiastic about teacher training, training our teachers, that's why we have taken uh, up this program and they were very happy to know about this uh, and very surprised. So uh, we run a Cambridge International Diploma and Certificate programs in uh, teaching and learning. Cambridge uh, runs, there are four professional development qualifications from Cambridge, out of that we run one, one of them. Uh, others are, uh, uh, educational leadership, there is one program on educational leadership, then one on digital technologies and one, one on bilingual learners. Okay. 
short form for the Cambridge International Certificate in Teaching and Learning, CICDL and CIDDL is Cambridge International Diploma for Teaching and Learning. So, it's a practice-based qualification. It is not a, a qualification where uh, pre-service qualification. It's not a pre-service qualification. It's a practice-based. So you have to be a teacher while doing this course. Okay. And uh, it is relevant to all teaching and learning experiences, whether you are working in a pre-primary section, primary, um, uh, higher, higher or in a college, uh, or even if you are running your own uh, uh, training center. Uh, you are eligible for doing this course. So it is uh, relevant to all teaching and learning context. It is meant for practicing teachers, okay? All kind of practicing teachers, uh, whether they are primary, higher, uh, uh, even in degree colleges, even for uh, those who run their own centers, okay? Uh, why to do this course, first of all? Uh, for, this is an internationally recognized qualification. Cambridge is a very big brand name. It is recognized in more than 140 countries. Uh, and uh, this makes you more employable. Uh, most of the IP schools and international school, Cambridge and other international boards seek this kind of qualification because this is uh, a, a much better and much rigorous qualification. Uh, it, it makes you confident in your teaching because what you're doing now is like you're you're, you're learning something and you're putting into practice. Over there, what we do is we learn, we put into practice, we take help of our mentor to improve that practice and then we reflect on it and we go through an entire cycle of uh, planning, practicing, reviewing and reflecting. And this cycle goes on two, three times. So what happens is we become, a very, uh, we become aware of what are our drawbacks, what are our strengths and we become aware of a lot of theories like ma'am has uh, talked about Maslow's theory of hierarchy. Um, I know psychology department would know about it but most of us may have just read it. So how that is relevant to our teaching and learning context? It's basically simple. If your students needs are met, then they will learn. Suppose I am hungry. If I am hungry, will I learn? My first need is to fulfill my hunger. So if the students are hungry, they will not pay attention to what you are teaching. Okay. So that simple thing, so there are a lot of such theories uh, uh, including the theories that we talk about uh, multiple intelligences including the theory of uh, 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 learner uh, styles, learning styles. So all these theories we go in depth, we use those theories in uh, making our lesson plans and then teaching them and then uh, somebody observes us and give us a feedback on that. Okay. Uh, so uh, I have already talked about reflective, it, it is based on reflecting your own uh, uh, practice. Uh, it also asks you to innovate new ideas, to put new ideas into practice. So any new idea you have not tried, you need to try that and see how it is working, how it is not working, what are, what are the uh, drawbacks and things like that. Uh, then it makes you engage intellectually, professionally uh, and makes you, uh, and socially basically because you will be interacting with a lot of people. So uh, this uh, is a very good qualification but a very rigorous qualification also. Okay. So what is the purpose of uh, Cambridge International Certificate? To help teachers develop their professional thinking and practice to enhance the quality of their teaching and learning through reflective practice and critical engagement with new ideas and approaches. And this is, uh, generally we do this also in the uh, IP workshops, we get to learn a lot of new theories. But what happens is, we learn over there and after we come here, most of, some of it we put it into practice, but most of it we, over a period of time we forget. So this is like a, a one year or a four, a four to six month course, where you continuously talk about those theories and put them into practice. So you actually learn them by practicing them and you understand where uh, maybe a one theory is very good but it may not be very applicable to your context. So you need to try it out to know what it is and where it lies. So uh, quality of any school depends on its teachers. Isn't it? So if you want a quality school, if you want a quality education, if you want your students to be 
educated, then you yourself as teachers need to be educated, need to know the latest of technology, need to know whatever theories and whatever beliefs we have. Do they really help the students? Are they really helping the students or are they hampering the students? So uh, quality of teacher is very important. So that is the base of this. So uh, uh, I was talking about the reflective cycle of teaching and learning. So basically we start with planning suitable experiences, then implement these and uh, manage these experiences, evaluate the, the, their effectiveness, whatever we have tried, uh, adapt their teaching, develop it and their learning, learners learning. So we, once we have experience, we know what are the things that are not working. So we again adapt to um, uh, the, uh, the new situation that we have talked about and we think of, okay, this was the problem. How do we solve this problem in my class? Then we try something new, then again, uh, we adapt our, uh, and then we reflect on uh, and share our professional learning with the uh, colleagues, with our colleagues, with our peers, with our mentor. So after this entire cycle, we have to submit a portfolio to IB. Oh, sorry, uh, Cambridge. It's an excellent professional development because it in integrates into everyday life of the school. Okay, you don't have to go out and learn something or do something. You don't have to have a different plan than what you are doing. It can be done within your planning and within your learning. <coughs> Consider teacher's prior knowledge and experience. It, it considers what is the teacher's prior knowledge and uh, experience. So it's not hard and fast that you have to take this particular lesson or that particular lesson. Whatever lesson you are, whichever stage you are in, in your teaching experience, you can co continue working on that. And based on your experience, you will reflect. It's not necessary for you to be a very perfect teacher to get a good marks. It's basically a reflective. Nobody is a perfect teacher. You, you'll agree. Most of the experienced teacher would agree that even today they make mistakes, even today they realize that their classes have not gone very well. Okay? So how do we reflect and how do we learn from them? That, that is what is important. Uh, then um, you get a lot of support from your program leader, myself, Ekta, ma'am, and you'll be provided a mentor. So you get a lot of support in term, uh, from all of them. So, uh, it, generally what we do is we uh, have certain beliefs and certain theories about learning. We have learned a lot of other theories like uh, multiple intelligences or uh, uh, like we talked about Maslow's hierarchy of needs or Cole's learning cycle or inquiry cycle. Okay? But uh, what happens is uh, uh, we hardly ever really think critically and put it into a practice in a, in a, uh, in a professional way. Okay? So here you are given a chance to learn those theories, to revise those theories and then put them into practice and then see if those theories really work or not. We always say, okay, learn a prof uh, we have to uh, know the uh, learning style of the students. But just knowing the learning style is not enough. We need to cater to those learning styles. Now, when you cater to those learning styles and you change your learning, uh, your classroom and your lesson plans accordingly, how does it really work out? Does it really work out or no? That you need to see and then you need to really look back. Is that theory really right? Or is it really right for me or my context? Maybe it's not. Or maybe I did not really put it into practice in the correct way. And it is sustained over time. I think that I have already spoken about. So, it's a very uh, easy and uh, uh, easy program in the sense that you can do it at your own pace. Okay. Uh, there is no face-to-face -face interaction with the examiners. You have to submit a portfolio which we check. We give you feedback. If we feel that okay, it's, it's not up to the mark, we give you feedback. We ask you to rework, rework. And then you can submit. Once you submit it, then it goes. So there's no face-to-face -face examination or observation. Uh, then uh, it is individual study, collaborative learning, reading, research, and discussion. So you learn as an individual. You learn in a collaboration with your teachers. Uh, then uh, it, it's not hard and fast that you have to submit this date only. We know that teachers are very busy. 
uh, and all the teachers have a lot of responsibility. So every month there is a deadline. So if you don't submit this month, you can submit next month. Okay? That, so there are a lot of flexibility in, uh, in terms of uh, uh, the submissions and that. So uh, it also provides pressure, uh, those who are very new to teaching and learning, an opportunity to engage with critical thinking and critical practice and uh, become a, a really experienced teacher. So you can quickly uh, think that you would learn in three, two, three, three, four years of practice, you'll learn in this four, six months, four to six months, easily. Uh, so, uh, as I said, that it is recognized as one of the best qualification and best universities and employers give uh, candidates a wide range of options. It gives uh, them a wide range of options. Okay? Uh, then uh, IGCSC, ICSC and uh, uh, IB schools recognize these qualifications. Okay, so, this is the uh, uh, brief idea of certificate and uh, diploma. See, diploma, uh, diploma is an extension of the certificate course. So the uh, course is divided into three modules. First module you pass, you get the certificate. Then you have an option of taking a break or continuing the second and the third module. If you pass second and the third module, then you get the diploma. These are some of the photos of our guided sessions that we had. I think I've already talked about all these points. Okay, one thing uh, that we have started, uh, we uh, are doing this year is, we are uh, also uh, taking on in uh, teachers who are interested, uh, or not teachers, who are not teachers, but who are interested in coming into teaching line. So any of your friends, any of your relatives who are interested, who uh, uh, want to become a teacher, so they can come and work with us, while working they can do this course. So it's an internship kind of a thing where they'll have to work full day as an assistant teacher in the school and along with that they will also uh, do the course so it will be Monday to Friday they will work and Saturday they will attend the course and do their self-study that kind of thing so if you any of your friends or relatives are interested in this uh, the only requirement is they have to be graduated they have to be good in English because there's a lot of writing involved in it so they should be graduate and second thing is they should be uh, good in English. So there is a process in HR they will be selected. Once they are selected then they will uh, they'll meet the coordinators. Uh, once the coordinators see that they are uh, uh, a good material for our school then they will be taken as an intern. And this is a paid internship. There will be a small pay, uh, payment for them which will be good since they will be working full day as a regular teacher and along with that they will get trained also. So if any of your uh, friends or relatives are interested, you can uh, let us know. So we are, we'll be starting uh, in the month of August. So any of you who would like to join this course, please come to us, we'll explain you all the fee structure, everything. Uh, there's a huge discount for our employees. Uh, it's less than half, I can say, uh, the prices. Uh, for the diploma. So, uh, 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 if you go anywhere out, you will have to spend at least a lakh to do this course. So, you have an in-house opportunity, please take uh, uh, use of it, uh, use this opportunity and do this course. Uh, so, there are a lot of other courses uh, about which uh, Ekdam I would inform you. Yes, ma'am. Ah, sorry, thank you, ma'am. Okay, so uh, I we had around 12, uh, 16, 17 of uh, the candidates for our first batch. Out of that, we have uh, received results. Uh, five of them have submitted their portfolio, and all five have passed. So uh, uh, I would like to call uh, those who have passed uh, and uh, explain um, and just give a brief reflection of what they have. So one of them is. Uh, Shilpa ma'am, okay. Medha ma'am, 
को स्वाति काकड़े मैम एंड आल्सो देयर वर टू इंटर्न्स हु एक्चुअली इंटर्निंग विद अस गीतिका एंड सीमा सो दे रियली डिड अ वंडरफुल जॉब एंड विद सर्स एबल गाइडेंस एंड ऑफ कोर्स सम बिट ऑफ एडिटिंग फ्रॉम माय साइड दे हैव रियली डन अ रिमार्केबल जॉब एंड प्लीज गिव अ बिग हैंड फॉर देम इट इज नाउ I would also like to thank the mentors. There are many of uh, many of you teachers who have mentored these uh, candidates. You have guided them well. That's why they have been passed. It's it's all it's a collaborative. It's it's not my effort. It's Ekta ma'am, the candidates and the mentors and guidance from Shada ma'am, sir and the coordinators which have helped them pass this course. So uh, I would like them to share their uh, views on the course. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. And good morning, my lovely friends and teachers. Uh, so here, like uh, uh, first initially when I uh, joined this course, I was uh, in like I was very nervous. Like, will I able to uh, finish this course? Or will I able to give time, proper time for this? Or will I able to understand the big concepts and all? So that all things thinking were there in my mind. But in the first session only, they cleared our, cleared our doubts and uh, they made us comfortable. So, and whenever we used to enter in the classroom, uh, it, it used to happen in uh, that conference room. So, whenever it used to happen, uh, uh, like we used to enter in the classroom, we used to see like they are prepared with different tools and strategies, and uh, they used to give us challenging tasks and uh, uh, like we. actually we had uh, uh, we are very proud that we are in first batch of this course so uh, like we were people from different fields so like um, we are from uh, we were, uh, two to three we were from eyp uh, some from uh, like uh, specialist in eyp specialist some from like uh, uh, ict uh, department some from french department so uh, like we used to sh uh, always share our ideas thoughts through their tools and strategies and it was wonderful experience even we thought different uh, uh, we learned different uh, theories principles teaching methods and um, many th many more things that i could explain now uh, but uh, yes how to make an effective and structured lesson plan with clear aims and objectives so that was one of the part like we used to cover everything like how to make it inquiry based just one lesson one hour lesson how to make it inquiry based and how to use different cycles like uh, different theories all together so yes and from the very first session we used to implement those uh, learnings in our teaching practices in our school so uh, and uh, sir apart from these uh, uh, weekly uh, sessions uh, sir used to uh, give us guidance to uh, he has made one uh, google classroom where he used to provide all the resources like uh, uh, website video clips uh, and uh, some classroom practices which we used to go through and we used to get many ideas from others uh, countries uh, and other teachers and all and uh, yes uh, uh, there were, there are many uh, books are also available related to that which they uh, suggested and we uh, used to issue it from library on uh, every saturday uh, even i i was very excited to read those books i used to uh, in weekends i used to read those books i used to take the, that guidance from that books so they helped us a lot for uh, use, how to use those resources and uh, apart from all these things they used to give us time for uh, you know individual uh, or uh, if we have had any queries or doubts we used to go individual to them of course even prior of appointment because uh, with the busy schedules it was like but uh, they never failed us like we are so busy that we can't give you time so we always used to get their uh, proper guidance thank you sir thank you ma'am and thank you uh, sir and uh, dr gosh and ma'am that we got that opportunity here only in our school Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, everyone. I think uh, Shilpa ma'am has uh, <laughs> uh, explained everything in the crux. But uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank Shada ma'am and Dr. Roosh for giving us this opportunity in the house. It would have been very difficult if we had to attend this course somewhere outside. But with our daily routine and being able to attend this course, it was really very helpful. 
and uh, it has helped me personally uh, improve and become a better professional and enhance my teaching practices. I would really like to thank Itta Ma'am and Irfan Sir for the continuous guidance and yes we did trouble them a lot and but they were very patient and they helped us and guided us continuously. So thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, apart from this, we also have an opportunity for early uh, childhood teachers, EYP teachers, until grade 2, this certificate. So this is a New Zealand tertiary college, uh, uh, New Zealand, from, and uh, you can do an online course, online B8 certificate, master's course from this. So all uh, those uh, teachers who are interested in uh, uh, doing a course in early childhood, they can contact us, we'll give you the details. Now quickly running through the other courses which are not affiliated with the Cambridge University. But yes, we provide GEP for students this year. You'll be delighted to know that we have started and many of the enthusiastic students have joined the General English Proficiency course. And I'd like to appreciate the classroom, the homeroom teachers some of them are from BYP and many of them are from MYP. Then GEP for adults, as in not teachers, but yes, we have taken in outsiders. So there are parents who are from Iran, from Egypt, and some very qualified uh, candidates, but they are not very proficient in English. So they want to enhance their public speaking skills, oratory, and all of that. And last year, many of, I think 25 of our teachers got professionally trained the GEP course, they enrolled for it and they benefited it. They gave a presentation and many of us know. For those who don't know, we don't have time to explain, but yes, you can always go back to the teachers who got trained by us, the General English Proficiency course. And along with that, we have opened IELTS, academic and general. Academic is meant for students who want to and, uh, study abroad and for adults, for teachers, who want to work outside, yes? Otherwise, also you really enhance your English communication skills, English skills wherein reading, writing, listening and speaking are compulsory. So you enhance big time with IELTS training. So just a few pointers you can see here. Parents have enrolled for the IELTS training for the general course and they are Pretty much one parent has already finished the course and two and three of them are really in the process of getting completed. So those of you who are interested, please walk into the fifth floor Cambridge office and we'll be happy to help you anytime. Thank you so much. Uh, there are also pamphlets kept here for the New Zealand Tertiary College and the college, uh, courses that we run. If you are interested, you can take them. Thank you very much.